Okay, so the first thing you want to do, you want to remove these screws. Okay. Now getting the wheel off, sometimes complicated because if you look, there's like a little bit of adhesive that came from the factory, probably when they sealed the rubber part onto the wheel. And you might have to break it off. And what you use is just give it a little persuasion with a, a mallet. Um, it's also going to be hard to get off because of the magnets. The magnets are uh, holding on there quite a bit. In fact, you could you can pinch your finger relatively easy. So when you grab these things and you're taking them off and on, make sure you grab it by the outside, or you will might get a little damage to your fingers. Okay. So the next part you got to do before you pull the motor off of the truck is to loosen or to get this back plate off. There you go, now it's off. You want this free of the rim of the uh, axle, I guess, before uh, you pull this thing out, okay? And so the next thing you do is you pull the truck off, or you pull the motor off completely. And you pop the lid and you undo the wiring. Right? So I took this one apart already. So after you have the wheel off, you want to take the hub cap off. Okay, that's going to be uh, small little Phillips head screws. Those may even be the uh, what they call the Japanese heads. They're a little bit deeper than a regular Phillips head. Um, one of mine was uh, stripped out. I must have hit a rock just right. So I had to drill one of them out. Not a big deal. But uh, pull all those out, and then you'll expose the bearing that goes in that hole, right? And so you push the bearing out from this side. I used a vise, but you can probably just pick whatever socket is the right size, right? Take that socket and then pound that through, and it'll pop the bearing right out. And then uh, same thing with the inner one. There's a bearing that goes in there, the smaller one. Same thing, take your socket, pound it out. Like I said, I use a vise. It's much easier when you squish in a vise and push it out with a vise. But uh, that's all there is to it. And then uh, to reverse, the, you reverse the procedure, um, buy new bearings. Um, I'll list what bearing size. I believe this is a 6002 RS. This isn't the best camera. And this is a 6001 RS. And the RS part at the end means that it has this plastic cover on both sides, or R2 rather. R2 means it has the plastic on both sides. It's a sealed bearing on both sides. But uh, a lot of times these bearings, especially from China, don't come with grease, so you might want to uh, keep that in mind. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about this, I haven't seen this on the web, uh, let me know. But these, engine, these, these motors are definitely rebuildable as far as the bearings are concerned.